What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. Last episode, we kind of recapped uh, what we did in the live stream uh, over the weekend, and as well as kind of get basically some money caught up, everything trying to build up here more, and uh, built back our stock up. And we added a couple more mods in as well. We added the No Doors mod. So you guys can see we have no more doors. We also added the precise Precision Movement, Precise Movement, and also um, I'm drawing a blank right now. Another <laughs> mod that we added. Um, I just actually got done recording that episode. Now I'm already forgetting here. I'm, I can't think of another mod. We just added in. But uh, we recapped what, like I said, we went, what we did in the live stream with the uh, bigger freezers. And um, we had a bit of a fail here, actually. So at the end of the last episode, I said I was going to add in the um, nighttime stocking mod, which I tried doing that. We had a bit of a fail. Unfortunately, it was causing a lot of lag actually around the fridges here for whatever reason, around the shelves actually stocking stuff up. It would it was starting to freeze up kind of like we had the freezing with the storage room a while back uh, before those feet uh, before the uh, updates fixed that and also our inventory like like it said that it might screw up with the uh, inventory management and it did so I ended up uninstalling it unfortunately but um, or at least deleting the file out of the uh, mods folder so we no longer have that I try like I said I ran through a day off camera just to kind of stability test it to make sure that it was all good and like I said unfortunately it kind of failed that so. We ended up removing that, so we're back to our original set of mods that we have here with everything going on um, in the store. But um, yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, be sure to drop a like in the video, show it some love and support. If you guys are new around here, check this out. Be sure, to hit, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on any videos that we're doing here. But uh, without further ado, we're going to hop right back into it and uh, keep on rolling here. But we got the store all fully stocked up. You, can, you guys can... Oh, that's right. We got the, uh, paw, the um, stalker's paws mod. That was the other one I was trying to think of. That we didn't last added in last episode but yeah we got our jimmies here they're all caught up everything in our storage room is looking good i think we might end up doing the bigger storage room honestly in preparation for some um for some future expansion because we're definitely we are i mean we need we just need to reorganize things for sure but we are like completely filled to the brim here i know we got a bunch of wasted space honestly with some of these bigger items that we kind of before the mods we just fully stocked up and we're trying to make use of and now it's kind of becoming a bit of a nuisance, honestly. So we need to really realistically expand and get some more stuff in here, which honestly, I'm at was saying that I'm kind of tempted to honestly do that this episode here, but maybe we'll save that for next episode. We will see on that. But uh, yeah, we got a lot going on here again today. We're gonna try to save us some money. We need 20, basically 25 grand for the next expansion, which you guys can see we are in the middle of level 60 now. So that is good. We got 10 levels to go until we unlock even more um, licenses or more product licenses which that's obviously the ideal goal but we're going to do the expansion because that's obviously going to help us get more customers in here too uh with the bigger we can expand the store which i don't know if it's going to expand back further that way because the last set actually expanded that wall or if it's going to expand this back wall i'm not too sure on that so i'm actually really curious on that so i'm hoping that we can figure that out this episode here and get an expansion done which i know we could just take out a loan i'm really trying to avoid doing the loans because i mean it, it is just a waste of money at that point with doing the with having the interest and it's just more we have to pay back in the end anyways. So I'd really rather not touch the loans if we don't have to. But, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we're, like, super close on something. But ideally, like I said, I want to try to stay away from the loans if we can. But I think we should be able to get the expansion done here in, like, two days' time um, with this. But I was really hoping to have the overnight stocking mod. It would definitely help things out throughout the day, help with the episodes, keep things flowing along. But like I said, unfortunately, it just it was causing too much lag by the... Um, by all the shelves, the fridges, all that fun stuff uh, with that. And I couldn't even stock stuff up. It was getting bad to the point where it was like freezing up for like a few seconds and then unfreezing. Like I guess like we were having with the storage room freezing when that was a thing. So, unfortunately, at least on my end, I'm not able to run that with all the, with some of the other mods. Maybe it's something with one of the mods I have existing right now. Maybe you guys better have a better experience with that. And I hope you guys do because that definitely is not, not fun having that. But like I said, I don't want to cause any issues with the game if we don't have to at that point. So we're going to, like I said, and then I like having the inventory inventory counts correct as well and not telling us that it's something something is wrong when it's really not. So we're going to go ahead and leave it, like I said, off, at least until it gets an update or something. We'll see. If it, I'll keep an eye on it. If it does get updated, we'll maybe try it out again. But unfortunately, it's at that point where we really can't, can't use it. So, but that's all right. It is what it is. We have plenty of other mods to enjoy and work with here that make this game a breeze. So... Honestly, we could actually use some more customers at this point. I know we're already struggling with inventory counts, keeping our stock sh our shelves all stocked up. But 
at the same time, we could actually use even more customers throughout the day would actually be kind of nice um, at that point. Because <laughs> I just want to try to maximize the profits that we're making here. Because it obviously, I mean, even with as many more customers as we have, it's still a grind trying to do everything. But um, it's definitely a labor of love when it comes to this game for sure. Okay, we got $1 back for you, sir. Appreciate it. There you are, sir. And we got nine seventy-five back for you. Oops. Okay. So there we go. Let's uh, keep on rolling with the day. We already have 20 grand here, so that is really good. I mean, obviously, we need to purchase a bunch of items, as always, at the end of the day. But it's only 4 o'clock, and we already have this much money. So we're actually making a decent amount of money, honestly. We got almost 21. Like I said, we need 24 six to be exact for the expansion. So I said about 25 with that. Um, but yeah, we're doing doing pretty well. 48 for you, ma'am. Appreciate it. We're at 21 grand already. We're going to keep on going with um, the cashiering as well on our own so we can try to get maybe a fourth cashier at some point. I don't think it's really, I guess, necessarily needed. But at the same time, I guess I actually I'm, I'm just enjoying being on the register at the same at the same time. So I don't know. I think uh, we're going to get to a point where we're going to need a fourth, fourth cashier. But honestly... With them organizing how they funnel into the registers, like, I guess it's really not necessarily needed. We don't have the registers, like, that full. Like, we, I've not seen a single person complaining about the lines being, or the checkouts being full since we added that mod in, from what I can remember. Which is not very good sometimes, <laughs> anyways. Um, so, yeah. Hey, we're at 22 grand. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. We'll get uh, some things ordered here right away. Okay, yeah, we'll just run through our list real quick, get a one round of orders done, so that way our stockers have some stuff, make sure they have enough items throughout the night. It was honestly really nice, like like I said, I ran through one night, one day off camera just to try to double check to see what, if everything worked, do a stability test on it, and unfortunately, like I said, it, it failed it, but it was really nice honestly coming in, starting off the day and everything was just stocked up basically, so I would love to have that mod working if we could. And like I said, I hope we get an update for it at some point so we can make keep it working. But I don't know if it's going to. Um, so I need one, two, three, four, and five. And then this can get stocked on up with the rest of these out of this box. And I only pulled off five, but there was one missing from it. So there we go. Yeah, we still have 22 grand even after ordering stuff. I know we obviously have a lot more to order. A lot more to order before... Oh, I just saw someone complaining about either price or missing an item, one of the two. Let's hop back in the register here. Help out our cashiers. Getting a little bit swamped there, but not too bad, honestly. How you doing, ma'am? Got some sushi for you. Hope you enjoy that. Okay. A 143 for you. Appreciate the business. I love how much, how much money people are spending. I mean... Obviously, it's people's hard-earned money, so I, I hate taking their money from them, but obviously, we need need money for bills, expansion, our employees, all that fun stuff. So, obviously, it's a business. you gotta got to keep on growing with the times, change it with the times. Uh, we got 50 cents back for you. Appreciate it, sir. Okay. Yeah, we got uh, 23,000, almost 24,000 already. So, we actually almost have enough for the growth as it is, as it sits. Obviously, we got bills to pay. New uh, product or more products to order, so we're gonna definitely be spending quite a bit. But honestly, we should be okay at the end of tomorrow um, to get that next next set of growth for this. There we are. Have a nice evening, sir. We got basically enough money. We need five hundred dollars um, for the next bit of growth, and now basically two hundred, two hundred and two hundred five bucks. <laughs> so we could technically get the next set of growth here. We have enough money now at this point. We might honestly be able to. I don't know how much stocking we're going to have to do. Or it's probably going to be a little bit too much. Most likely, I'm thinking. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, it definitely is. Because we're going to be... We're only going to have like $1,000 extra at this point. Got the glitchy hair over there. Yogurt's too expensive for you. Well, sorry, ma'am. It's not that much over market price. So you can get bent. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. That actually is. Okay. Sorry about that. You can come back buy some. Sorry for telling you to get bent. <laughs> I didn't realize that it dropped that far down. Okay. Let's get all of these. We got 110.25 for you. Yeah, the yogurt's always been like 
15, 10, 15 cents over market um, with that. So it's never, never been an issue. Um, okay. Yeah, we're, we have about a thought. Oh, we got one more customer here. Okay. There we go. One more customer rolling through. I guess we're going to get some stuff added to our cart here real quick. Let's get all of this. There we are. Okay. Let's get all this stuff added to our cart real quick. And then we'll get... Uh, let's see here. Okay. Yeah, let's get all of these. We got... I guess, honestly, we're not... Yeah, we're not that far far off from being able to afford it. Made, honestly, not that much money. I guess we just had a lot of supplies. We got dishwasher tablets and cake. How did that... That said that went up. I guess we were just way overpriced on that, I get At that point. <laughs> okay, so it must be the box cake then. Yes, definitely. Go 525 on that, raise it up a quarter, I guess, at that point. There we are. Let's see where we're at then. Yeah, technically we actually have enough for the license right now. Obviously, we I think we're going to need to order some more stuff here. No, actually... You know what? I think we're just going to get the license right away, or the, the growth right away. We have enough items here. We'll be okay. Oh, we got our bills. Ugh. Okay, we'll be all right. We're just going to leave it alone. We're just going to turn a blind eye to him. We have $47 left. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. That is actually really awesome. So what we are going to do then is we are going to... I'm really curious. To... Okay, actually, now we can use our precision placement. There we go. And get it close. Yeah, see, look at that. We can literally get, like, right up on that. That is actually insane how close we can get that. I might even move these a little bit further down from there now. We're going to have this, like, be our whole little fridge area. And we actually have some lights, actually, I just remembered. As well now, still. Look at that. That is actually really insane. With that placement. That is so nice. Okay, I honestly might... Well, I don't know. Maybe... I wish there would get, wouldn't have to... I think there's a mod that we don't have to take up so much space for the actual items. Like this. Like, we can... I can do, I guess, one more over here. Okay. So there's that, like that. And then we can do this guy. I don't know, do we want to... Maybe what we'll do is we'll do something like this. Let's bump that off the wall. Like that, and then we can put our... Other liquors and beers and stuff and such. Right in the corner like this. Let's bump that off just enough, and then something like that. I think it looks pretty good. So we got a nice little fridge section over here, and we get the rest of our alcohols over here. There we go. Look at that, how tight we can get those. That is actually insane with that precision placement. I'm actually really excited to like reorganize our whole store now and use that. Because that'll be so nice with how close we can get all those. There we go. We got a nice little fridge section over here. Uh, we got our other lights so we can get thrown in finally and get rid of these. Which, it's going to look a little a little stupid right now because we're going to have that offset like that because we only have that right now to go off of. Something kind of like that, I guess. I think will be good for now. I know it's a little goofy 
But um, we can obviously fit a lot more shelves in here now and uh, keep all that looking good. There we go. I like that. Um, all right. Yeah, I, I really like that, honestly. I think we obviously need some extra shelves now. But I think that flows nicely. I think that I think that works. Got a whole nice little fridge fridge area now. That's like separated basically when we get the alcohols right in there too. So okay. Let's go ahead and open up the store. We'll get some money flowing in here today right away so we can make some of our money back. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I like that. I'm happy with where that's at. Like I said, we're going to get some money flowing in here. Obviously, we're not doing anything just sitting here with our thumb up our butt <laughs> with uh, the store closed. So, want to obviously keep things flowing for the day. Keep uh, keep making some progress with everything. Looks pretty good, I think. How you doing there, Timmy? Eh? Hey, you just, just staring into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways... I'm just going to turn away from that. <laughs> I don't know if there would be... I mean, I kind of like our freezer section over here. I think that works pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think everything's sitting pretty nicely here. I would like to have a little more space where we could have this kind of centered in here rather than like this, which I guess what we could do, actually. Let's move... Oops. Let's move this guy out real quick. So if we were to place this like... Oops. Say like right here. And then bump this guy out over here. Like that. I guess it's still not centered. Now we're a little too far to the other way. I know it really does not matter. But I'm just trying to keep this place looking good. Looking nice. So what if we were to... Say do something like that. And then we bump this guy over. To like here. Is that pretty well centered? That looks pretty well centered. I think. Okay. And then, we're going to just bump these guys over just a little bit here. We're going to move all of these down here just a bit. Uh, sirs, everyone, get out of my way. <laughs> okay. So then what we can do is we can put these... Like that. And then we'll move these back down over to against them. Up tight. Something right like that. Right there. Sorry guys, I know this is really tedious. Like this, but... I bet you guys are really going to enjoy these placements. Because <laughs> they are just so tight and crisp. It's amazing. Right like that. There we go. We got two more to move here. Real quick. I love the little reorganizations of the store though. It honestly is so much fun. Right like that. And then we got one last one over here. I don't really like having these behind the register, honestly, so we might end up moving. I really don't want to move, reshift these all around, but I might honestly get rid of one of these fridges over here and move it over to here instead. Hmm. I am kind of tempted to do that, actually. Because then what we could do would be something like this right here. I don't know. Something like that. 
And then, yeah, honestly, that looks really well. Really good. I like that. And I would like this to be obviously like tied over to here, but obviously that's not possible with this currently. So then what we could do is actually, I know, rebump all these down just a little ways. What I can do at least to try to help is I can bump this bridge down to here like this. Let's get... I think we can... Yeah, we can fit this in here. I was going to say we had... I going to say Jimmy's got his foot in the way there of us. And yeah, now we can just bump these down. Just a little ways. I know we... Like I said, we just moved these, so I do apologize on that. But trying to get these as organized as we can. Here we are. Okay. Okay, you guys are being really annoying here. <laughs> but anyways. Okay. One last one to move here then. Let's go like this. Hey guys. You're really annoying. There we go. I think it looks pretty good. I would, like I said, I would like that to be symmetrical, honestly, which maybe. So I think that looks better being tighter. There's less of a corner than there is with this. So I don't know, maybe. Honestly, we almost got that like perfectly even. I don't know. I kind of like, you know, maybe. Uh, I'm so torn. Maybe we do something like this. Something like that, and then bump this guy over. Just a little bit. Okay, people. You're getting in my way again. There we go. And now we bump this one back. Bump these two shelves out just a little ways. Set that over there, and then we'll put this guy... Right over here to the corner. Sir, you're really getting in my way here. Okay, something right like that. And then we'll put this guy right over here. This placement mod, honestly, is absolutely amazing. Yeah, look at that. I think that actually looks really good. Gives us a nice little corner over here. We got tight corners over here. And we got a little bit more space over there now, so they're not walking behind the register, basically, to get to, uh, get to the items there. I think, I think it looks really good. Then we got enough space for, like, two more shelves to go in there. So that'll give us enough space for another one more license at that point. And we're sitting pretty good, I think. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so we got 31 grand for the next expansion, which will help, obviously, bump out this area even more. And then... We could actually probably convert this whole area then to like the alcohol like corner then at that point. And then we still have bridges. Yeah, we got honestly I really like that. I think it looks good. Do we need any more lights back there? I mean we could probably use a couple more, but it's not too bad. I would I would say it's pretty good. Okay. Let's help out our, our registers here, cashiers or Timez. I know there is the NPC tag mod, but unfortunately, the one thing I noticed, I was looking at that mod, and unfortunately, we had to fire all the employees, which honestly isn't the end of the world, but then I have to pay an extra 100 bucks to rehire each one of them. So I don't know if it's really worth it for that. If you guys really want to see that, it'd be kind of cool to name them. If we have to like fire them at any point, which I don't see why we'd have to, because we can pause the stalkers now. Um, if we'd have to fire them at any point, then we'd, then we'd probably do that tag mod um, so we could actually name them, but unfortunately, it's... Um, like I said, you have to get rid of them first. Couldn't find chicken. Ooh, that was one thing you guys, some of you guys are telling me, like, we only have so few chickens um, from the live stream. But we have eight of them, so we haven't really seen that at all yet, as far as running out of that. Oh, we're just out of chicken. That's why. <laughs> That's our own fault at that point. Unfortunately, because we, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to stock up on here. Oof. Okay, well, let's get... Bunch of stuff added to our cart. Here we are. We're going to go through and add all this stuff to the cart. And then we will get these ordered here for the morning. And yeah, we're going to need a lot of chicken.
Yeah, that's one bad thing is we did not fully stock up between letting the oops, I didn't actually don't need the tea. Between letting them stock up and getting our shelf stocked up. Or getting the storage shelf stocked up because we didn't spend as much on it. Now we ended up running out of some products. For sure. So that's that's our bad on that. We're gonna spend a lot of money on restocking stuff, but at least we got the growth. I want I'm curious to see how many uh customers we actually got in today. That'll be kind of nice. See if it, it grew at all with the extra growth. There we go. We get all of this. And then that should be good. That's 4300 bucks. That's almost half of our money right there. Let's go ahead and end off the day. Got 132, so a couple more. Uh, 14 grand. <laughs> but that's also with 24 grand of supply or upgrade costs. Uh, we got keg and vodka. So both the beer stuff. Uh, we'll go 26. And then one of the vodkas... Drop down here. Oh, it went up. No. Uh, we'll go 14. Yeah, we'll go 13.50 on this. There we go. Okay. That looks pretty good. Let's get our bills paid. Now that our bills from yesterday, too, that we did not pay. <laughs> so we got that and that. And then we got to place our order here of stuff. Oof. Yeah, we got a lot that we need to... Um, only one at least out of that, so that's good. But uh, we got a lot that we need to actually... Re, um, redo. Okay. Let's get that. We can empty out this other box right away, too. Got a lot to stock up here. There we go. That's nice and full now. We can throw this on the shelf, and we're good to go at that point. Let's go over this again here. So we got a lot, I'm sure. That's our shelves in the store that uh, are low... That's our shelves in the store. That's getting low in the storage room. That's our shelf in the store. Okay, we got all of that. Uh, we can use some more milk, some more of the soda, more spaghetti. Honestly, this inventory mod is like the absolute king for the mods. I don't know what we would do without it. I'm going to take off that cereal. We don't actually need that. At least not yet. I need, I'm going to help him out with our tea because we are getting really low with the tea. We have so many boxes of that. Uh, where is... Oh, here's our tea. We move stuff around so much, it's hard to keep track of it now, at this point. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to try to condense these boxes of teas down, too. If we can, try to help them out, because we have so many boxes of these. That's a full box, so we're not going to touch that quite yet. We are going to try and fill up... A box here, actually. And then I'm going to go grab another... We'll empty out the rest of these boxes and hopefully get it down to just one box or maybe two boxes at most. So there's that. Yeah, I think we should be able to get it down to one box, honestly. Oh, I think our stalker, yeah, he just grabbed one too. We're going to beat him to it. <laughs> there we go. He should empty out that box. Right? Yeah, he's taking it that way. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be down to one box of this. I do apologize, guys. The, the lights are definitely very bright with the white backing. I don't... Or actually, you know what? I think some of you guys were telling me we need to change that color. Let's uh, let's give that a try real quick. Uh, Where is... Yeah, shelf's color. So what if we were to do like a gray here? Ooh, okay. It's still very bright with the products, honestly. I kind of like that, though. Something different. Let me know what you got, Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and we maybe we'll switch it back to the white. But I kind of like that. I kind of dig it. Kind of gives us a good contrast. It's just some of the products like these that are white boxes are just very bright with the light still. Okay. Let's see here. Need some more cereal, which we almost ordered some of that before, so I guess we should have. That's okay. Got some juices, some bleach, toilet paper, some Parmesan cheese, some more of the moussaka. Uh, we need some more chips, some more mashed potatoes, sugar cleaner, bleach, toilet paper, some more chicken, coffee, soda. We're just waiting on to get it actually stocked up. 
Got some wine, some clotted, uh, clotted cream, pasta penne. Clotted cream, that just sounds disgusting. I don't know what that is. It just sounds like a, like a, like a clotted heart, clotted artery <laughs> at that point. Especially being like a cheese or like a cream. Did he just grab? No, he didn't. Okay. I think it's this, this one that the shelf is almost empty on. Yep. Okay. There's that. Where are we at then with everything else? Um, I guess we'll get some more of this. I know a, a stalker does have that, a box of that. We'll grab another box of that then. Some toilet paper. Uh, what else do we need? Some more light coffee. Potato bags. Mozzarella cheese. Some more salt. Some more cheese. Some more bottled water. Brings us down to $4,500, which we actually have more than I expected. Honestly. Thought we'd be spending a lot more than that. Uh, some vodka. We'll grab another box of that. Some more rice. I should just start scrolling through like this and trying to just keep an eye out for the red. I know it's a little bit hard to spot, but... It's a little bit quicker. Okay. So there's all that. Honestly, the shelves are looking definitely better. We're, we still need a little bit... Oh, yeah, we definitely need some stock of things for sure still. Okay. So maybe not. I was going to say we might be, be ready to open back up here for another day. But I think we'll be better off um, holding off opening up here for just a moment at least. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just had a quick message to send there. Um, how are we doing on... We'll check our supply or inventory of things again here. See where we're at. Get you some more flour, some more eggs. Uh, some more cereal, some more fries. More hot sauce, some more beer, some more beer, more beer. <laughs> a lot of beer. Must be the weekend or something. <laughs> got some potato pops. Got some whiskey. Again, more alcohol. Must be must be the weekend here for our for our customers. Okay. Oh, I just realized we have a couple extra shelf spaces over here too. I forgot about those. So we still have a few extra shelf spaces, but not a ton. Um. I don't know if that box is coming back. I see it's getting stocked up. I'm going to hold off on that for just a moment. Sandwich bread. Which I don't know if we need actually all any more of those, but we'll, we'll, we'll order one either way. Some more shampoo. Some more candy. More dark roast coffee. Some more sliced bread. There we go. That's all looking good. Uh, some flour. Honestly, we've got another shelf space of that. We've got extra shelf spaces of those. So I'll get another one of those right away. Got some veggie mix. Guess we did need some beer. And some more rice. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we got some more beer that actually needs to go in. Do we have any more of... No, we do. There's three left of that on that shelf. So we're going to get rid of this box right away. May as well. Help them out. Not stocking up random boxes. Okay, display is full. Let's head over there. We got some more. Actually, let's grab the more empty box here right away. Is that a perfect fill? That is. Okay, look at that. Very, very nice. Throw that back on there and then... 
Let's see. Uh, let's see here. So we need some dish soap. Some blonde ale. We got some brown sugar. Some more potato bags. Some powdered sugar. Some toilet paper. Some chocolate. Some cakes. There we go. We got that. Okay. I mean, things are getting stocked up. We're sitting pretty good here. Are we sitting any more red? I mean, we're we're definitely going through more of the money like I thought we were going to, honestly. Got some more lasagna. There we go. We got that. Okay. Sitting pretty good. Do we have... No, we're good. Okay. Perfect. That's what we love to see. Okay. Shelves are getting there, for sure. We got a few more things that still need some love, like the uh, ham there. Let's, can we help them out with that? We got some right here. Right? Yep, that is that. Okay. Is that all of that already? Okay. We got a box with one or three. I can't remember now. Ah, it's got three, so we're going to have one left in this. Dang it. Okay. That's all right. There we go. Okay. Let's go through and order one more time. Got a ham. We'll get a bleach. Uh, what else? Another pack of milk. Orange juice. Some rice. Some olive oil. Sorry, guys. This stuff is taking longer and longer every with every expansion that we have here to um, organize these and order more. Every day. Get those switched around so they grab the single one first. We may as well. Yeah, we got a few more things like salt and pepper to go in right there. We may as, may as well help them out, I guess, while we can. We have three left between these. Uh, trying to always organize stuff, too, when we're, when we're helping out our, our gymmies. Unfortunately, it just... Things get so disorganized with the boxes over time with uh, ordering stuff. I wish, like I said, if anyone if anyone watching these videos is a mod works on mods or anything, I do not know how to create them in whatsoever. Um, so I wouldn't be able to, but if anyone knows how to do that of creating a mod where they will grab the lowest quantity box first, no matter where it is in the shelf, if they would grab that first, that would be absolutely amazing to have that. I would love that so much. That would help keep things or so much more organized in the uh, storage room with that. And we can actually get away with having like one shelf of each item only as well at the same time. Okay, so there's all of that. And help them finish stocking up with this last box here. Which I believe is a full box. And if it's not, it's very close to a full box. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's help them out here. Let's take a look at the shelves. What else... I guess some hot sauce and mayo and ketchup. We could honestly use all of those. I know they're still working hard at stocking everything up. Okay, we could use some more tea. Black tea. Mm. And some more oil. Honestly, we're actually sitting pretty good here. I did see him carrying a small box, so let's... Go ahead and grab this one here. Get rid of this box right away. I like having the no doors mod though. I think that uh, is a nice addition. I don't, know, I don't really know why we have the doors honestly in the game at all. I mean, I guess it makes sense to have doors in a business, but at the same time, there really isn't any necessary need for them because we can't even close them anyways. So here's our oil. We got four in this box. Let's go ahead and empty this one out. Oh, we already got it filled up. Which actually, I'm going to try to organize these right away. Yeah, see, like, we have one in this box. Which makes absolutely no sense. And there's five or six in the other box that's there, and then we have one full box. Yep, but she's grabbing that, so that'll be good then. Okay. Let's take a look. Wait, didn't we have... 
I thought we had another box of tea. A black tea. Where did that go? I thought we had a full one. I guess maybe not. So let's go ahead and order a little bit more of all of this then. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and open up the store. We're going to run through one more day today in this episode. And then we'll wrap things up from that point. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of more where, more where I was expecting to be, honestly. For the total money left over. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open up. We're going to get some things organized here while we're at it. Uh, with that, we got... Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of organizing the wine here. We're going to top this off. I'm going to grab this other box over here. If they did, I was going to say if they didn't already grab it. Oh, can I not organize? How many do we have left in here? We got actually quite a few. Okay. Well, that's all right. Definitely ordered uh, too many of these. But that's okay. Uh, we got some vodkas here. Let's go ahead and see where we're at with these. We got nine of these, so we should be able to get rid of some of these. Again, we're going to help out our stockers here. Jimmy's, even though they don't do us any favors when they're freaking restocking stuff on us. <laughs> when we're trying to reorganize things, but that's okay. It's their job at the same time. Can't fault them too bad on that. Okay. Let's throw that in there first and then throw that in. And then we got a few more boxes to get reorganized here with the green beans, which I believe, yep, is right over here. Should be able to empty out this box here. There we go. So we got that. That should be able to be able to go back in here now. And then I can grab this box with four in it and empty this one out. And we'll be all good to go. Okay, let's throw that on the shelf. That on the shelf. There we go. Uh, we got cleaner here. Where are we at with this, too? I thought we had extra spaces for this. Why is there water there? That should not be in there. Okay, we're not going to throw that in there because that's a pretty empty box. This is the full box. Yep. It's really frustrating when stuff gets switched around like that. I know it's because of the stalker. The, like, auto easy delivery mod. So that's what's causing it, but unfortunately, kind of annoying. Wait, no. I didn't want that there. I wanted that there. Did they? No. Okay. I was going to say, they just come back with another box of it, but no, we're good. Uh, we got seven. We got seven in each of these boxes. Can we get some of these out of here? Which, that's going to be 12, right? There one, two, three. Yeah, there's only... S okay. So we got a... I guess we got basically two full boxes and we'll have two left over um, from this. So we're going to grab this. Actually, hopefully we've sold two by now. Oh, no. Come on, people. I was going to say, there you go. You want, you want two more. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Let's get that guy in there, that guy in there, and then we've got some extra wine. No, people, we need... We got two more left here. Okay, Jimmy, I can't see. Our viewers can't see. What are you doing? Okay. We're sitting pretty good. We got one. We got two extra wines, which I'm going to keep an eye on and try to get rid of them. And we're going to help out our, our Timmes while we're at it. Keep us a little busy throughout the day here, and then... Um, Keep on going. Keep on rolling with stuff. All right. Come on, people. You can come to my checkout. I'm 10 times quicker than Tim is. Even with the faster cashier mods. I guess I could I could turn up their speed even more so they're just like flying through checkouts. But. So I guess. Yeah, honestly, we really don't even need any more cashiers at this point. We can just turn up their speed and they'd be okay. Uh, 255 back for you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Have a night. This is Thief. Um, what? 
Did I accidentally... I think I might have actually screwed up the total cost of her... Of her, um, checkout. Because I've never seen that before. I'm going to have to take a look at our end of the day, like, action report. And see, uh, what actually... If we had a customer... See if we had a customer that uh, said we charged too much or something like that, because I've never seen that before. I'm guessing that's what happened there. I either overcharged or under undercharged, one of the two. I don't know why you'd complain though if I gave you back too much change, and I don't think I can under I don't think I can over overcharge them. I'm not too sure. Sorry about that, ma'am. Regardless, you could have said something to me rather than complain saying this is thievery. But it is what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, why well, did I just get, like, super quiet already? Four packs of eggs are too expensive. Oh, yeah, those really are. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I really should try to get the um, auto, auto pricing mod working. Because we just have so many items at this point now to keep up on for pricing. It would definitely help us out, for sure. Uh, $2 back for you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Appreciate it. Nice evening at this point. It's already 6.30. Okay. Got a couple moussakas for you there, sir. Free oops, what am I doing? Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Okay. No change back for you. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Always love to see that. I did see that there is a mod where we can get exact change if there is cash every time and that would be nice but at the same time i don't mind doing the doing the change especially it doesn't affect us when we're not care sharing anyways so i don't think we'd be doing that one but uh, i don't know we'll see i was thinking about doing like we could do like a whole series on this level just like spotlighting mod various mods and stuff like that too like each each episode would be like a different mod turn we'd only use like that mod for that episode and then go on and start a new one so just be like a nice Nice series. So if you guys are like interested in like trying to trying to take a look at a mod but don't want to install it or don't don't know how to, um, we could always do that and uh, show you guys spotlight it for you. But I don't know if that'd be a cool idea or not. I think we'd have to do like a different game save at that point. Just have a whole different store for that. But I don't know. Ninety six thirty five for you, man. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Okay. Why is it not saying to end off the day? Uh oh. It's 9 o'clock and I'm not seeing the end off day with enter. Maybe we have too many customers in here that we can't even stop it for now until it dies down or something. I, I don't know. I feel like I've always seen it at 9, at 9 o'clock um, come up with the enter button. Hopefully we didn't break the game. <laughs> we'll see here, I guess. This would be interesting. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe it's just not showing up and it'll actually work when we hit enter. We will see. We got a lot of sushi for you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Those are always lovely expensive items. Can I? No, I can't scroll up. But we got, yeah, $75 just in sushi alone for that. At $450. There you are, ma'am. Have a nice evening. Okay, I'm honestly a bit nervous about this. I don't want to end off the day, try to end off the day too early and lose out on money from our items and cash or customers that are still here, but I want to fight, figure out if something's wrong here real soon. If we can. Ugh. I don't know, I guess worst case, we just have to end off the game, end the game or something like that and then reload the game or something and if something is actually truly broken with it. 159.45 for you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've got 12 grand already, so that's good. Definitely nice to have that, especially even after a major expansion like this in this episode. Okay, we got one person still grabbing items, and I guess one person walking around and one checking out. So you could have just gone right there and come to me instead of walking all the way around over there. Face palm. Okay, well, that is it for the day there. Oh, now it's showing up to finish the day. Okay, good. Whew. I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit nervous about that. Did not want our game to be broken there. I want to see how much our next set of licenses. So 22, 22, and 22. Okay. 
So it's going to be 66 grand for all of those. And then we honestly don't have a ton more licenses. We have eight more licenses. We just need the money and the XP for it. But I want to see... Yeah, we shortchanged someone. Okay. I'm sorry about that, ma'am. Didn't mean to do that. We got apple juice going up. Uh, we'll go 250 on that. Why not? Okay. But um, yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode here, guys. This one's been kind of close to our normal time. It's about 50 minutes for this one. But we got quite a bit done here in this. We got our nice new fridge fridge section over here. And uh, we got our nice beer section over, or alcohol section over here. Kind of moved over away from the regular items. I would like to try to do something with the freezer aisle. Maybe eventually what we could do is when we get the next set of growth, we could actually just bump this out a little ways and then do the freezers in the middle there. I don't know. That's probably what we'll end up doing, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments if there's anything else um, that we're not doing or any other mods you want us to check out um, as well. But thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like in the video. Show it some love and support. If you guys are new around here checking this out, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss out on any videos. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.